We said that we were marching to end the hatred and the division, to, to fight back against the hatred and the division that How Donald Trump... up the White House that Donald, that? that Donald Trump very clearly put out as a form of political uh, uh, approach. I mean, right. you know, and the rise of uh, right-wing populism in this country, too, which is leading to massive... I get, it. I, I, I get why you hate Trump. There's but why, a big How difference. does Madonna saying she wants to blow up the White House help the end the hate campaign? I'm serious. Yeah, well, I'm sure you are. Um, I think there's a big difference between um, speaking figuratively in terms of, you know, I just got up this morning and I was so upset about, what, about how I was feeling, as against, for example, Donald Trump's comment um, about how there ought to be some form of punishment for women who seek illegal abortions. I mean, that, he meant that. Um, that, was, that was a campaign pledge. Uh, and, that, and that was why well, what he meant hundreds was, of well, thousands well, what of he people came was, out. I, I, didn't, I don't agree with his position on abortion, but what he was clearly meaning was if something's illegal, there should be some form of punishment. I mean, what I presume was, you would agree with that, what wouldn't you? He was clearly saying the logic was that, of that he was, makes sense, What it? he was clearly saying was that he's going to roll back rights for women. Very hard one, freedom. But you wouldn't and disagree with him. Hang, he's on, gonna, hang no, on, no, would no. you disagree with the premise that if something's illegal, then there should be punishment. I'm That's all he was saying. I'm talking about what he says about abortion, and that is why people march. I understand, because we were I understand marching your to position on abortion. Can I just I, interrupt? I, I Piers, would agree with you. Piers, can I interrupt? If something's illegal, okay. isn't it logical? Except, you can I just That's interrupt? Your argument is. Donald Trump has changed his position. Sure. He no longer believes that women should be punished if they seek I abortion. I was picking up on the point. He himself has changed his position on exactly the point that I you're totally making. I totally agree, and I don't agree with him about abortion. I totally agree with you about it. But I come back again to my point. This was a Trump-hating rally, really, around the world, which I felt was pretty unfocused. Had it been on the things you're talking about, mm. I could see some merit to it. Again, I come back... You haven't answered this yet. Mm. What was your personal view of Madonna wanting to blow up the White House? I, I absolutely have answered it, Piers. I just haven't answered it in the way that you would like me to. But do you distance yourself um, and, from what she's saying? And what I'm saying is that there's a big difference between speaking figuratively in reaction to the very real hatred... Do you condemn that, what she said? I am saying I condemn what Donald Trump has done, which I know is you to make Donald hateful Trump. remarks. I know you condemn Donald Trump and his hateful remarks. Mm. Do you condemn Madonna speaking at your event yesterday, albeit in America, yeah. do you condemn what she said about wanting to blow up the White House? I am for free speech, and we're not getting free speech Except, as women. And that's Donald Trump uh, says either it. On the on. Don, either under Donald Trump or on this programme. Sorry, you're not... Because you're, you're not, more you're interested not, in pantomime you, than a political debate. You're not in favour of free speech, are you? Because, actually, you're in favour of free speech if Madonna wants to blow up the White House. You're not in favour of inflammatory things Donald Trump says. I'm in favour. I'm in favour of being able to speak your mind. I am not and in favour. Donald Trump. I am not in favour of, of, of speaking your mind as a president who wants to roll back women's right, rights. Right. So That's you can't speak your mind if you're Donald Trump. No, you're. But you no. can say you want to blow up the White no, House. You know if you're what's can I just say what's happening? What's happening here, Piers, is you're doing exactly to me what Trump is doing to w women all around the world, which is he is silencing them. I'm not We're silencing not having, you. You are. You're shouting over me. And we're not getting any kind of debate about what I'm we were really you marching answer, for. You're making absolutely zero sense with greatest respect to you. With greatest okay. respect, Piers, what makes zero sense is in 2003 you were giving out placards to the Stop the War campaign mm. uh, uh, when that you were working at the when war. you were working at the Daily Mirror. You have no interest in supporting and stopping the war on women. No, no, no. And you're not interested no, no, no. in actually talking about what that march no, was about. I absolutely am, and I am a feminist who believes absolutely in female equality, and I agree with many of the issues. I'm sure you care about. Mm. But on this particular issue of Which free speech... Which I've given you an answer on. There's so on much more On this issue of free speech, about. you seem to have said, unless I'm mistaken, you okay. can't say hateful can I, things okay. if you're Trump. Can I interrupt? You can, can I if you're Madonna. No, 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 no that's I... not what I said. I said you can say hateful things, but he's talking about acting out yeah. hateful things, and there's a mm. big okay. difference. Well, firstly, I don't think that Sophie should be held accountable for the, the words of every single person who took part in that march. And secondly, Madonna does not have an influence on policy and how it affects millions of women. But anyway, there we must leave it just for now, <laughs> Sophie.